Hi there. Welcome to a collective worship. Let's greet each other with peace. Peace be with you. And now I'm going to light our virtual candle to allow you to get yourself comfortable and ready. So we've got our candle lit and I hope you're sitting comfortably and the candle will remind us that this is a time to share some peace and quiet together. This term we've been thinking about perseverance. Just keep going. Is that what it's really all about? Can we do this on our own? Just keep going and persevere. I wonder if you've been watching the Winter Olympics on television. And I wonder if you know how long the people who do the speed skating races and the cross country skiing races have to persevere, how far they have to keep going. Well, the longest speed skating race is 10,000 meters or 10 kilometers, which is just over six miles. But the longest cross country skiing race is 50 kilometers in the Olympics. So that's more than 31 miles further than running a marathon. But even crazier than that is the longest cross country ski race in the world, which is 220 kilometers. So I know many of you do a daily mile at school. So to do 50 kilometers would be like running that 31 times. And to do 220 kilometers is like running that daily mile 136 times. I don't think I could do that. Yeah. Maybe you might get a little bit tired. Maybe you'd have to slow down for a bit. It would take a lot of perseverance to keep going that far. And maybe, just maybe, you'd have to slow down and stop and walk. Take it easy but it still needs perseverance to keep going, to put one foot in front of the other. When you're worn out and tired and your feet hurt, I wonder what might keep you going? Do you want to pause the video for a moment and have a chat with your neighbor about that? Maybe you would like someone to talk to, some friends to walk with, some family to encourage you. Because we all get tired and feel exhausted and worn out. Well, I hope you don't feel that worn out, but it's okay to feel overwhelmed and to feel tired because we're only human and that's what happens. But the Bible says that God will be with us. Christians believe that God will give us strength when we're tired and power when we're feeling weak. Because God knows that even you lot who are young and fit and healthy, get tired and stumble occasionally. But the Bible says that if we trust in God and don't try to do it all on our own, we'll get new strength. Strength to run when life's really exciting and busy. We'll have the strength to keep trying and strength to walk. When life's a bit boring and routine, we'll have the strength to keep plodding along. But we'll also have the strength 
to soar high like an eagle. Walking and running, we might think we can do all by ourselves, just like an eagle flaps its wings to fly. But even an eagle can't soar on its own. To soar as high as it can, an eagle has to rely on the air currents. Warm air rises up and when a bird has big enough wings, like an eagle, it finds some warm air rising up high into the sky. All it has to do is stretch out its wings and let the warm air carry it up. It doesn't need to flap or work hard. It just rests on the warm air currents. And God says, when we're tired and ready to give up, when we can't run or walk any further, then we can rest in God's power and get the strength to carry on. Because if we're going to persevere and keep going, we need to renew our energy. We need to recharge our batteries. And sometimes that means taking a break and having a rest, letting someone else do the work for a while. Then we can fly as high as an eagle. So let's pause for a moment. Perhaps think of something that you're finding difficult today. Something that you'd quite like to give up on. Let's pause. Recharge our batteries. Take a few deep breaths and get some new energy. So breathe in and out. And breathe in and out. I know some of you I've shown the high five breathing when you breathe in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out all round the fingers of your hand. Perhaps if you know about that you can tell the other people in your class about high five breathing to calm you down, to take a rest and recharge your batteries. And so we can then soar as high as an eagle as we rest in God's power. And Christians believe that they can ask God to help them with things that they're finding difficult with. They can ask God to give them energy to keep going. So I'm going to finish with a short prayer. You could just use the word to reflect on in your heart if you want to. But if you'd like to make it your prayer, you could say Amen at the end. Or you could stop the video and read the words out. Or maybe you could stop the video and think of those things that are difficult today and let God help you with them. So let's have a moment of prayer or reflection. Loving God, when life is busy, give us strength to keep running. When life is routine, give us strength to keep walking. And when we have no strength of our own left, help us to rest and let, let you lift us up to soar like an eagle. 
Amen. And so peace be with you. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.